Who is an actor whose presence in a movie will make you not watch the movie? The last time a similar question was asked. The answers were mostly James Corden. Any YouTuber streamer forced to be in a movie. Andy Dick. I've seen every episode of Star Trek ever many times but refuse to watch the Voyager episode he is in. Steven Seagal. Dude is just plain shit in any shape form or movie. Poop. Gwyneth Paltrow. Can't stand her. James Corden he just radiates corporate energy. What's a movie you saw as a kid that only you seem to remember? Watcher in the Woods. HTTPS colon slash slash U2 dot BE slash 3 DFICA cube 8 U closing parenthesis. We sing in Sillyville. I am adamant that this movie has to exist. It's about two cats. A white girl cat and a black male cat. It's some sort of oldies French setting where the female cat gets stolen by a villain cat and the Black Cat goes after her and tries to save her. I swear to God this movie exists but I have only ever seen it once and it was back when I was like 6 or 7. But gosh sometimes bits and pieces of that movie will pop in my head and I just can't place a name on it or it could have been something I dreamt up. There was this movie that feels like a childhood fever dream to me now. This kid was walking around an island and finds a pizza tree. He climbs up and tries to eat a slice of pizza when a sand shark swims through the sand beneath the tree and traps him there. So he puts some bubblegum on the pizza and throws it down so the sand shark will eat it and get stuck in the gum. Darby O'Gill and the Little People The Mouse and the Motorcycle what U.S. cities should foreigners skip during a road trip? Sorry Bakersfield, California but you know it's true. I heard Gary, Indiana can be skipped. Bakersfield. I don't care if you're bored from the drive and want to stretch your legs. Just keep on driving. It's California's armpit. Hawaii is beautiful, but hard to plan a road trip to. Are you planning a road trip? I worry when I hear that foreigners, especially Europeans, plan to drive around the U.S. The U.S. is pretty big and very spread out. As an example, San Diego to San Francisco is seven and a half hours. But that's taking the I-5, which I would definitely advise against. Unless you really like looking at grassland and feedlots. Highway 1 is much more scenic and has many more places to stop and eat. It's roughly 600 miles and takes 12 hours. San Francisco isn't even close to the Oregon border either about 6 hours via Highway 101. Side note. I highly recommend making this drive. It's beautiful and you'd get to go through the redwoods. Edit. Redwoods. I'd think about it more as which ones to go to rather than which ones to avoid. Most can be skipped. Who's your favorite comedian? Bob Mortimer. Sean Locke. Sometimes I'm not even sure how he made what he said so funny. He was a truly gifted man. Patrice O'Neill. Tom Segura or Bill Burr. Bernie Mac. Mitch Hedberg. What's the best fruit? I have a few answers. So here are my fruit awards. Best tasting. Mangoes. Just absolutely delightful. Perfect sweet and sour combo. Best price to proportion ratio. Pineapples. Bruh $2.50 for all of that. Absolutely. Flavor also killer. I'm a citrus slut. Edit. It's spiritually citric because it's spicy. But yeah not actually citrus. Best, WTF is that, award. Dragon fruits. They taste great. They're their own bowls as you cut them in half and eat them with a spoon. And the red ones dye my shit red which just entertains me tbh. Most refreshing award. Watermelons. Whether I come home tired from a workout or am sitting at a beach, 
I feel like life is okay again. When I eat some watermelon slices. Best on the go snack. Pears. Not quite the appeal of apples flavor wise. But it's like 80% there without the offensive crunch like that dickhead who decided to eat an apple. In a quiet room. Best charcuterie board edition. Grapes. FMLI remember that grapes and cheese is a combo and eat nothing but that shit for a week straight. Anything eaten at peak ripeness nothing worse biting into some dry, mealy, flavorless fruit. Mangosteen I ate those bad boys in Thailand, so good. Peaches. Passion fruit. Subscribe my brothers.